Since we have you, uh, talk to me a bit about um, your, your convener of the Social Rehabilitation Grace and Support Initiative. Is that a, um, a religious organization or what? No, it's actually a social interventional organization. You see, because I am from a generation where we are opportune to have lived and be a little bit intellectually aware before the social media. And we can also say we grew with the social media. And I thought that a lot of an arm has been done to the average mind of people my age and people younger than me. So I'm trying to start something where I, I can actually intervene and change the way people see things. And hopefully that can lead to a better life, better understanding and a better society. Indeed. So that's the reason why I started the group. Okay. Thank you for, you know, clearing that up. Now, uh, staying on the theme, uh, as a relatively, uh, as a relative uh, youth and you being based in the U.S., uh, much has been made about um, those who are pursuing this case and, um, well, spokesmen and lawyers for both sides. One of um, the comments that I have heard is that, well, perhaps lawyers from this side or spokespeople from this side don't quite understand how it works in America. As you know, we're speaking against the backdrop of the uh, allegation, which is yet to be proved and must be proved, um, that um, uh, the president, in submitting his uh, documentation to INEC, uh, had engaged in forgery. Now, I've heard one commentary that says uh, the mistake might have emanated from people um, taking the template that they are used to here and certificates and the value placed on the you know, diplomas and those papers, and that it's different. Did you want to comment on that whole area? Uh, yes, Uncle Yori, I want to comment on that whole area. And thank you for, you know, bringing starting it that way. Uh, first off, I, maybe because I'm a doctor, I like to give a general analysis of a problem. I think the problem with a lot of people in the, in the opposition and many members of the media start to say, I think that problem is, you know, basic understanding of the use of English. You know, they mentioned forgery, whereas uh, Caleb Westberg never mentioned anything called forgery. Now, here is the phrase that they tried to twist and use to confuse Nigerians. They said that the Auntie Angela, the lawyer for article, asked if Chicago State University issued the INEX certificate to President Tinubu in 1979. 1979 is the year. That was the year. Uh, not, not, not the INEX certificate. Was, not the INEX certificate, but yes. his own, you know, uh, university certificate. Yes, that is so. So she, so she, she described it as INEX certificate oh, okay. in that deposition. So okay. we were talking about the university certificate just for reference purposes because okay. he showed the guy a photocopy of a photocopy of a photocopy. So. And the guy said, no, we don't issue this certificate in 1979, I mean, in, 1979 in that year. Because why? And if the guy had said yes, we would have to go and ask the president, and would have, we would have had to go and ask the president, and would have, but you said you lost your certificate to General Abacha during your fight for the, uh, what's it called, for the, for our democracy. So how come you now have that 1979 certificate to give to INEC? In 1999, that was not created until 1998. So the point that he was making was that they don't make that design of certificates in 1979. But if someone whose certificate had been destroyed in the 90s went to reorder a certificate, it will be the design of the 90s of 1990 certificates that will be placed there. And one of the uh, documents, the exemplars that CSU released was CSU 06 that had the same design and the same logo and everything and signatories as the one that the president submitted to INEC. It is there in part of their in a part of their document. The, the, the name was you know was blacked out. So when when they try to confuse people with these things, I, I, I think it's just because they don't understand English. And then when they also said that uh, the the uh, they asked well, uh, Carl Westberg also that can you verify that this INEC certificate, quote unquote, was issued by Chicago State University? How Westberg said, with, because this document is not with us, we don't have the qualifications to make that assessment. That was what he said in the deposition. Okuyori, I can tell you that you don't have the qualification to make a diagnosis of diabetes because you are not a medical doctor. 
Does that mean that person does not have diabetes? No. So that is what the guy said in clear terms. But, you know, if that deposition was a passage in secondary school English exam, that is for comprehension, was a comprehension passage, the article and its minions would have had F. And like the president said during the election, article is F level. That is why they don't understand the basic English that that guy was saying. And, you know, I would, I would like to say this, that, you know, the, I'll, take, I'll take us to church a little bit and talk about uh, First Chronicles chapter 20, where they talk, spoke about how uh, King Jehoshaphat defeated Amon and Moab. God told him that, don't be afraid of this uh, vast army. The battle is mine, not God. I told them to just, and the king told them, told his children to sing uh, praises to the Lord, for his love endures forever. And on the day of the battle, the enemies were fighting themselves. And by the time King Joseph had, with the people of Jerusalem and Judah came out, the enemies had destroyed themselves and they just went home celebrating. That was what happened in this election. President Tinubu's sole route to, the, to Asurok was through articles ignominy. He is now begging Peter Obi and Kwan Kwan so to come and join him. That proverbial campaign after election. Where was this sweet, nice, conciliatory article? all through last year and before the election in February. Indeed. His only okay. sole ground to gripe is with his own intellect. I think he should sue himself to court for aggravated activity. Oh, 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 